Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy the Rip A with another video, and today I am going to be doing episode two of my Kex to Dex series. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to dump your EID root key and how to make sure you have Q&A toggled. So first off, you want to start off on your PC and you want to go ahead and get these two files that I'll provide you with in the description. I'll probably have it in like a folder and inside a RAR file. So you just need these, not the folder or the RAR. So make sure you extract them. And then you want to go ahead and open up your USB. And right here on the root of it is where you're going to drag them. So it should look just like this. You go into your USB from here. It should say that they're right on the root. So after you have that, you can go ahead and pull out your USB and stick it in the right port of your PlayStation. So once you have that, I'll see you guys on the PS3. Okay guys, so once you're on your PS3, you want to make sure you have your USB plugged in and then you want to head over to Package Manager install package files standard package location and install both of your package files okay now once you have that they should both be down here somewhere so I'm gonna show you guys real quick that I'm still on 3.55 I didn't leave you guys I promise so now once you have that you want to go ahead and load your EID root key dumper your screen's gonna go black for a few seconds it'll beep and then it will restart your PS3 so I'll see you guys when it's back Okay guys, so once your PS3 is booted back up, you want to go ahead and sign into your profile. And once the XMB is loaded, you're going to go ahead and run Rebug Toolbox. Now once Rebug 2 box is loaded, you want to head over to the um, right column. And if your toggle QA flag is disabled, that means that you're, you don't have toggle QA flag on. So what you're going to do is quit Rebug 2 box. And then once you're back at the XMB, you're going to go ahead and run toggle QA package file now for this one it's gonna go to a black screen for a few seconds and beep just like the EID rookie dumper well, except um, except this one's gonna boot you back to the XMB after it's finished and then once you do that you can go ahead and load up rebook 2 box again And then when Rebug Toolbox is loaded up again, if you have Toggle QA successfully, this should now be enabled instead of disabled. I mean, you can do it through this way, but I feel that the way I just showed you is a lot safer than doing it through here. So do what you want, but I recommend the way that I did. Okay, so once you have QA toggled, enabled, and you have dumped your EID rookie, you're just going to sit in Rebug Toolbox and then we're going to go over to the PC and we'll get your EID rookie file. Okay guys, so once you're on your PC, you want to go ahead and load FileZilla and go ahead and connect to Rebug Toolbox with your IP address and then go to HDD0 and then TMP and at the bottom you should see your EID rookie. Just go ahead and drag that to your desktop. And once it's there, you can go ahead and exit FileZilla. And what I like to do is just make a new folder, name it whatever. I'm just going to name mine Stuff. And then you're going to rename the EID root key and make it a uh, .bin. And then drag it into Stuff. And then 
if you have done it correctly with the rename and everything you should see that it's a bin file so once you have that just keep this folder and you're gonna continue to episode 3 of my series so my next tutorial or my next episode is going to be how to upgrade to Rebug 4.46 so once you have completed this move on to my next one hopefully it's posted by then but if not you're just gonna have to do it by yourself I guess so that's it for this tutorial guys I'll see you in the next one peace